In early September, there was a terrible hurricane in the southern part of the United States called Adelia. We had 10 uh, people all together, men from all across Virginia. What I didn't realize was that in the south, they have a 12-month growing season. And so their oak trees and their pine trees are more than double the size that we have here. Um, the trees were down everywhere. They had blocked roads. They were, they were on people's houses. They were all in the front yards. It was absolutely devastating to see the damage there. We contacted over 30 families and were able to get a very good opportunity to present the gospel to those families and talk to them about salvation. It was an older gentleman. He was using a saw to cut up some trees in the front yard and he had gotten his saw stuck in the tree. And he couldn't, he couldn't get it out. And we just happened to pull up at that very moment. And he was actually so preoccupied with trying to get his saw unstuck from the tree that he didn't see us pull up. And so I walked up behind him and I said, looks like you, uh, you need some help. I mean, he was covered in sweat. His initial look was one of a bit anger, like, well, what do you think I need? But then when he saw the yellow shirts and, and saw the crew and I, I said, I tell you what, sir, you just leave that there. I will we'll take care of getting it out. And as a matter of fact, we're going to clean up this whole mess for you. His face just changed. It was, it was almost one of disbelief. It was probably his wife who had requested help from the church because he was totally surprised when we showed up. Uh, he would not have been able to do what we did. We, we had a skid steer, we had a machine there to, to take the big logs. But to, you get 10 people out there dragging brush, cutting wood, and a machine hauling the debris to the road, you can do a lot in a couple of hours. He didn't expect that. When we were getting ready to leave and, and presenting him with a, a Bible and, a, and just a word of prayer, he had taken a shower, put on a white shirt, and he was, we hugged each other and we were laughing at the end. It is a very good feeling to know that you have come to an area where people need help and you are able to meet that need. The real thing is to leave God's Word with every family. We pointed them to, to Northside Baptist Church as much as we could because none of the homes were that far away and make sure that there's an opportunity for them to follow up with the conversations we've had.